everyone welcome back to my channel so as you can see I'm not wearing any makeup yet and that is because I got these brushes from Hot Topic and I thought that I would try them out with you guys today what do you think um I just thought that they were so cool they kind of have like they're like these little like dragon lizard i mean i don't know technically what you'd call them but they look like little dragons to me and so i i don't know i just thought that they, they had like such a cool aesthetic however i was like feeling them in the store it, it has like this little spot where you, it says like feel me and um they just feel like honestly really cheap synthetic kind of bristles they did only cost fifteen dollars for this whole kit it has a little baggie included and everything so I really don't have high expectations for this, but I figured this one is kind of just like a fluffy, just kind of like a normal like powder brush. So I thought that I might use that to apply my foundation then use this guy who's kind of like a fluffy angle brush for like my contour and my blush because that's usually the kind of shape that I would use for that. And then there's like a short angled brush like for the brows and stuff like that. So, and then there's like a little liner brush. So. We'll see how comfortable these are to hold. The handles look pretty big since they are more for like decoration. So I don't know how actually, what's the word I'm looking for? Operational they are? No. Functional. Functional? Functional. <laughs> I don't know exactly how functional these will be, but we're gonna find out today. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. I have not opened them yet. Can you show it to the camera? Okay, I got these from Hot Topic. I guess they're by some brand called Blackheart, called the Complexion Collection. So, okay, all right, okay, hold on. So I'm just kind of like popping these guys out like this. If I can, I guess this guy separates. We got a little baggie. It actually is pretty cute. I like that they included that. Like, I, I'm actually gonna keep this. It, has a cool logo it's yeah I like it okay so the brushes are they're honestly not as heavy as I thought they were gonna be they do feel pretty nice like they they don't feel like cheap plastic like they kind of feel like they were made out of like clay I want to say or something like a nice clay but they're not plastic and they're definitely not metal either and they're not glass they feel just like kind of like a chalky like clay kind of material they're made out of bone, probably. Yeah, but they're really cool. I like the color of the brushes. Yeah, the color of the bristles are really cool too. I like the green. So yeah, oh, this is a much more like flat-topped kind of angled brush than I thought it would be. Like it doesn't really dome at all. It just kind of, it's very flat. So the brushes do have names and the brushes are on, or the names are on the back of the box. There's the number one, this one's the blush brush. The angled contour brush, so that one is for contouring. I normally use my contour brush for my blush brush though, but maybe I'll use this one like... Oh, they're pretty soft. I'm gonna stick to my original plan. I am gonna use this as like a foundation brush because I've used fluffy brushes like this as foundation before. Okay, anyways. This one is actually called an eyeshadow brush, which mm, that doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, like, what? What am I? Am I gonna like lay it flat like that? I mean, I guess you could, but that's just not gonna do what I want. And I'm definitely not applying my eyeshadow like that. Like, that would take forever. The only thing is, I would like maybe use this to like smudge a dark shadow along my lash line, but other than that. No, I'm not using that as an eyeshadow brush. So I'll definitely use this for my brows, but it's kind of hard because it is pretty dang thick. Like, it's like pretty dense. So I don't know if I can use that for my brows. Like I'm not gonna get much precision with that. Precision, not precision, whatever. And then it has a little liner brush, which this liner brush looks totally fine. The only thing I'm concerned about is that how big and like chunky this handle is like, uh, it feels like it might be fine actually. 
I don't know. So those are all the brushes that come in the little collection. I don't know if this runs for, like if maybe this is a brand and they sell more brushes or if like this is all that they have. But yeah, all right, let's try these out. Okay, so I've already applied my primer. I applied the Too Faced uh, Hangover RX primer. I got a little sample from Sephora. So that's what I'm wearing on my face right now. It's honestly not as hydrating as the Smashbox Primerizer. I already like that one better, but anyways. So like I said, I'm gonna stick to my original plan and I'm gonna use the blush brush as my foundation brush. Gosh, these brushes are so soft. I just keep wanting to pet my face with them. This is the best part of new brushes. You just always wanna, like I could just sit here forever and just like touch my face. Mm. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Okay, so since I know well how it operates and how the foundation behaves and everything, I'm going to go ahead and use my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. I'm just going to take a little bit on the tip of the brush here. What the heck is on my face? Did I scratch myself? Look at like I scratched myself. Well, that's my life. Yeah, I really like, uh, I really like these brushes so far. It doesn't feel like it's soaking up all my product very soft what i really like about these brushes so far is that the handle is not too heavy like i was looking at these and i was like oh i feel like those these are either gonna feel really cheap and i'm not gonna like them because they feel so cheap or they're gonna be really heavy and just like not you know very functional so but so far so good i do like it Delina, you're freaking using dragon bone to apply your makeup and you're sitting here telling me to shut up? These brushes are made out of real live dragon bones. Are you gonna be smiling after this? I'm gonna be smiling after this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go fill in my brows with the eyeshadow brush, as it's called. I just really don't understand how this could be an eyeshadow brush. You know, like, who made this brush and thought, eyeshadow? This is an eyeshadow brush. And even if this was a brush for like smudging eyeshadow along your lash line or something like that, that's not like a kind of brush that should be in a basic kit. You know what I'm saying? Like it should just have like a normal eyeshadow brush like this or something, you, you know? Or even like a fluffy eyeshadow brush like this if you want like a basic set. Of brushes you know what I'm saying this brush just is really tripping me up I, it just doesn't make any sense oh it's really hard to work with not not my proudest brow work but it'll get me by it'll get me to the grocery store see and it's kind of weird because it's kind of like slightly angled like on this side like the, the bristles on this side are slightly shorter than the bristles on this side, so there's like this slight slant to it at that. I don't know if that's just bad, like poorly made, like they didn't mean it to be that way or if it's supposed to be that way. Either way, it's not working for me. I feel like my brows look very square right now. Now I'm going to use the contour brush and I'm just gonna use my NARS Olympia br uh, bronzer. Black contour, whatever, bronzer right here. Maybe that flat, that flat part, the flatness of it is supposed to like really give that nice carved. But I like it because because the bristles are so soft and they're so nice and loose, it really makes it easy to like blend across the face. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like it's giving me that nice defined line. Like, that's sharper than I've ever gotten with any of my other brushes. I'm like, dang. You don't even need to put your setting powder there. It's just like... <laughs> like, dang. That's, that's a sharp contour. I'm kind of impressed. Okay, so usually with my contour brush, I do bring it down the sides of my nose. So I am kind of hoping that with the flatness of this brush, it will help to give that nice carved contour. Looks pretty good. 
probably one of my better nose contours for sure okay so now i'm gonna go apply everything in between and then i will come back and apply the liner with this brush so i will be right back okay so what i've decided i'm going to do is i'm going to use the eyeliner brush to kind of see if i can get that nice defined like winged liner and then i'm just going to smudge it out with the eyeshadow brush because i do want to use this one on my eyes since their purpose is to be an eyeshadow brush let's see if we can use it on the eyes at all so um, i'm just going to apply it try to get that nice sharp wing with the eyeliner by itself and then go in and smudge it out with the eyeshadow brush the only thing that annoys me is that the way that they packaged this brush they packaged it this way so all the weight fell on it and now the bristles are kind of like turned this way because it was like this and like leaning on the bristles so that's kind of annoying i wish that they had packaged it this way like facing upwards but it's just a packaging error kind of weird because it feels like the bristles aren't really like m mending together like I'll try to flatten them out with the product but then they'll just like fan out this way so I kind of have to just use it like head on like this to try to draw out the line which I don't really mind it's just not something that I'm used to I don't use cream liners anymore. Oh, it just goes everywhere. I'll clean that up later, but now I'm just gonna take that eyeshadow brush, kind of try to smudge it out a little bit. Oh, this is kind of hard. I just feel like he's really hard to control. Okay, so I do feel like I can get a nice precise wing with that. This brush just is just really not making any sense to me. The shape of it, the density, like I thought I could use it to smudge out my lash line or smudge some eyeshadow along my lash, lash line or something like that, but like it's just it just doesn't make it's not really working for anything. So I don't know, I think this brush is kind of a pass. This one specifically. I mean it doesn't look bad, it's just not preferable. Okay, so I'm going to try to line my waterline with this. Yes, I went off camera and I applied some lipstick and um, mascara, but that is all I did. So I'm just going to go pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. I really like these lashes with this look. What do you guys think? By the way, this is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Soft Spoken. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about doing a wear test on that, so tell me if that's something that you guys would be interested in. Overall, I think that these brushes are pretty decent. Now, I did just buy them really for the aesthetic of them. I thought that they were really cool. I wanted to have them as like decoration. I'm thinking maybe since they have like this little loop on the back of them, maybe I can like hang them on my wall or something like that, in my background or something. I don't know. I just think that they're really freaking cool. Um, pretty impressed with the um, quality of them, I guess. Um, now, of course, the bristles aren't very, they're not much quality. They're, it's obviously very cheap synthetic, but the performance of them is actually quite nice. You know, I felt like everything went on really smoothly. Obviously, I got a really nice contour from it, which I feel like I don't get with my normal brush that I use, which is like this guy right here. This one's by Tony and Guy. And it's just a little bit more domed and I feel like maybe that's why I'm not getting as chiseled of a line or whatever. But 
yeah the only brush that i don't like is this one this one i can work with you know these guys i could i'll probably re be reaching for them again honestly if they're not just like hanging back there being my decoration you know but this one just this is the only one that i'm like what what was the thought process in this i just don't i don't understand this brush i really don't yeah that's it i think it it's worth they're worth getting honestly if this is like your style if this is something that you're interested in i say go for it like I do like the quality of these and I think that, yeah, if this is your kind of thing, go for it. Last time I checked, they were doing a special online where you could get them for like 10 or $11. I paid like $15, I think, for these. And of course it comes with the free bag. Online, I mean, you might end up paying like $5 in shipping, so you might as well just go to the store. So that's up to you, but I do think that these are a good deal and they are for the makeup connoisseur actually worth it. So that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed kind of a little review, I guess, of these brushes. I thought that it might be kind of a fluke, honestly, since they're from Hot Topic. I was like, there's no way that these brushes can be that good, but I really like the aesthetic of them. So yeah, I just thought I would do a little review, kind of see the performance of them and whatnot. It's kind of like a wear test for brushes, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And if you want to see more like this, please let me know what you'd like to see in my next video and what products you'd like to see put to the test. I will see you all on Monday. Bye. Stopped recording an hour ago. Okay. You say that every time. How do you turn this thing on? Oh, baby. I don't know how to do it. Oh, baby. You got poison ivy all over. Okay. I'm keeping that in the video. No, don't! Why would you do that? You know what I really don't like? Hmm. Facebook stories. I never watch them. Those seem. That's. Ever. Why?